Today we are diving into the restaurant sector and how AI powered IoT solutions are finally solving long standing operational challenges. We started solving the problems really for restaurant operators. So we made it like really simple, more intuitive to the restaurant operator. Now, managing refrigeration systems efficiently is crucial for maintaining food safety and minimizing costs as you said it's a direct dent on the revenue and the profit our outcome what we wanted to achieve was to automate all that and they just get that via email on a daily basis and for a owner or a manager he doesn't need to worry about that aspect hello there restaurant owners and operators are you looking for smarter ways to manage your inventory ensure compliance and reduce losses remember the right technology should simplify your operations and provide real peace of mind. Hi, this is Kripa Anand and welcome to the Canadian SME Small Business Podcast, where we explore the innovative technologies and entrepreneurial journeys that are shaping the future of various industries. Today, we are diving into the restaurant sector and how AI-powered IoT solutions are finally solving long-standing operational challenges. Now, recent trends highlight the increasing importance of real-time monitoring, food safety compliance and low and loss prevention for multi-unit restaurants. This discussion today will provide valuable insights into how technology is evolving to meet the specific needs of this demanding industry. Joining us today is Madan Kanala, founder of Stratify, an AI-powered platform that helps multi-unit restaurants safeguard inventory, stay compliant and reduce losses from, res re from refrigeration issues with plug and play simplicity. So before further ado, let's dive into the episode. Firstly, Madan, welcome to the podcast. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for having me on the show. It's our pleasure. Now, for years, there's been talk about IoT in restaurants, right? Yet widespread adoption has been limited. In your opinion, why have past sensor-based solutions, you know, often failed to scale effectively in restaurant settings? And what are you guys doing differently that is working right now? Yeah. Uh, great question, by the way. So, mm -hmm. typically, all the solutions so far were like uh, sensors and uh, just they were trying to tailor it to restaurant industry. Yeah. So, it's like engineers solving the problem for engineers, maybe. <laughs> but we took it differently. We, we kind of started solving the problems really for restaurant operators. Okay. So, we made it like really simple. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, more intuitive to the restaurant operator. Okay. Also, um, apart from just uh, focusing on sensors, plug and play, all these things, we we started thinking like, how do we make this so simple to people who own like fifty restaurants, mm -hmm. or who operate like five to ten, right. or who manage five to ten restaurants, right. and how to make them like this, right. uh, make it look more of a weapon to them rather than right. a technology solution. Right, basically. something that they can use. Use well. on a daily basis and get benefit from rather than trying to learn and adding more work, I would right, say. Right, right, right. Yeah. Hmm, that's amazing thought and that's a very insightful analysis of, you know, the challenges. It sounds like Stratify is, you know, really focusing on the practical realities of restaurant operations, which is key for adoption. Now, building trust and gaining traction with major restaurant brands isn't easy right we all know that let's discuss how you guys are achieving that so firstly you're uh, gaining like a lot of traction with major qsr brands by solving real inventory compliance and equipment challenges what key strategies have you employed to build that trust and why does you know brand trust matter so much to begin with absolutely so yeah, as you said, QSR brand, for yeah. QSR brands, one fridge or freezer going down, yeah. there is a direct dent on their revenue. Right. And equipment downtime directly impacts their bottom line, basically. Right. So, yeah, it was not easy, obviously, because with all these noise around technology and so much of things going around yeah. uh, in the restaurant tech. So, we, we tried, um, the way we built uh, Trust was we offered them free pilots. 
Okay. And also, we did not just talk about it through PowerPoints and right. uh, these things. We went into the restaurant, we saw their fridges, we put our sensors and say, look, so go and try it, use it. Right. And then that's how we earned our trust. Rather than just talking and sending them what you call purchased orders. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Instead of all that and following the typical sales process, we first wanted them to kind of get used to kind of... Um, the get comfort, familiar with, familiar with the technology yes. and also like uh, as i mentioned previous solutions their experience was like they were using engineered solutions right. we wanted to kind of show them like this mm. is different so wow. that's how we earned our trust and then one by one one by one of we course. yeah you got the traction, traction yeah. that's amazing and you know it actually gives us all a reminder that practical knowledge is beyond the theoretical knowledge that is out there in the market. And it makes perfect sense in such a critical industry as food service, trust in a technology partner is paramount. Solving tangible problems clearly builds trust and that confidence. So kudos to you guys for achieving that. Hello there, restaurant owners and operators. Are you looking for smarter ways to manage your inventory, ensure compliance and reduce losses? Remember, the right technology should simplify your operations and provide real peace of mind. Well, let's get back to our conversation with Madan and hear his personal journey. Now, let's dive into your entrepreneurial journey because every entrepreneurial journey is, you know, shaped by unique experiences, a lot of challenges. Go ahead and share because as I understand, you moved to Canada as an immigrant engineer and what inspired you to build a venture-backed startup like Stratify and you know, serve major restaurant brands across the country? Yeah, so yeah, the, the journey is a bit personal. So yeah. I was one of the immigrants who moved in that um, tide of engineers who moved between 2015 and 20, right. where Canada had this expression entry program mm -hmm. and... Um, um, yeah, when I came there, uh, obviously I was like any other engineer with um, uh, rich experience in right. building things right. and um, lots of dreams. I always had this thought of building something on my own, mm -hmm. always. Uh, Canada actually helped, being in Canada helped. Right. Um, yeah, because people are more inviting when you talk, when you talk to them about yeah. um, a problem they're having. They're welcoming. Welcoming. They yeah, the first thing is that they are welcoming. Yeah. Um, you don't need to first go and see, okay, whether someone will talk to me or not, something right. like that. Of course. So I, I mean, the first first um, aha moment for me was yeah. um, I took the snow clearance service as coming from India. Um, snow was a shocker to me. Even I moved here <laughs> directly from the UK and there was not much snow there. Yeah, yeah. So, so I took the snow clearance service. Okay. So uh, what what was kind of interesting to me was they are still, um, I would say, like um, depending more on their shoulders than mine, basically. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, they are not using uh, smart technologies in day to day business. Right. And I saw a great opportunity uh, for workforce based businesses. So that's how it all started. So we started uh, monitoring snow clearance operations and right. that then we pivoted during the COVID to restaurant space. Wow. And um, I'm happy that uh, we could build something useful to the industry in Canada and US. Well, of course, it's very motivational. So did you, did you always want to become an entrepreneur? Like apart from doing engineering, uh, was there, you know, insight, insight inside of you that said, no, I want to become an entrepreneur and do something of my own. Or was it just because you moved to Canada? Um, yeah, so basically, <laughs> I won't say it's a childhood dream or something. Yeah, yeah because uh, you will, you won't have that much clarity right. till you become something, right? right? Yeah, once I had like some 10 to 15 years of experience, um, yeah, I kind of uh, felt, the need felt that, that you uh, I'm not can. utilizing my mm. potential to the fullest, right. basically. That's one of the reasons. And another thing is that, um, yeah, I mean, uh, with my rich experience, um, I can do better. That's right. how it all started. It's it, it was more of pushing myself. Basically. Amazing. So if you were to go back in the past, would you start your own business sooner or did you do it at the right time? Oh, a lot sooner. Ten years back. Sooner, right? Yeah, a lot exactly. sooner. It's just like um, 
I wish that's the only regret I have. I wish I would have started lot lot sooner. Yeah, hmm. that's a fantastic story, Madhu. It highlights the power of you know bringing diverse experiences and a fresh perspective to solve industry specific problems. All right, it's time for a short break right here. But when we come back, we'll dive into how Swarovski technology is revolutionizing refrigeration monitoring in the restaurant industry. Hey, you think you know UPS? Yeah, that's us. Everybody knows that. You know what you didn't know? This. Okay, try to keep up. Ocean, us. Ground, rail, air, so us. Guess who? Us. Customs cleared. Borders cleared. Done. Us. Us. Still with me? Wait for it. Boom. Us. Intelligent, automated fulfillment. Us. Yep. Healthcare too. Digital, your thing? Yeah. Well, book it, ship it, track it. You feeling me yet? Yep. That's all us. That's all UPS. Welcome back, listeners. Now that we've heard about Madan's incredible journey, let's explore how Stratosphy is making a big impact by simplifying refrigeration monitoring and enhancing food safety for busy restaurants. Now. Managing refrigeration systems efficiently is crucial for maintaining food safety and minimizing cost. As you said, it's a direct dent on the you know revenue and the profit. How exactly do you guys simplify the often manual and you know time-consuming process of refrigeration monitoring, uh, especially for busy restaurant operators? And what are the key benefits that you know you guys offer uh, of your wireless sensors and you know real-time alerts? Shed some light on that. Sure. So. in the ai era uh, one might be surprised to know that people take their pen and paper and go around the refrigeration and take temperature readings by putting thermometer inside them mm-hmm. and imagine um, one of the supervisors of the restaurant again has to go through those readings and see if there is any problem basically mm-hmm. and um, look at from this like imagine some owner has like 10 of these restaurants and this is going manually and uh, the yeah. probability probability of error yeah. and um, sometimes uh, i mean uh, it's no wonder that refrigeration issues go of unnoticed course. right yeah. basically yeah. so uh, first thing what we did is um, we as i mentioned in the start of the start of the meeting yeah. we did not put more emphasis on like whether we use lora or bluetooth yeah. or wifi or cellular we put more emphasis on what is the end result to restaurant operator right. like okay so now they are t- using pen and paper so our first out uh, outcome what we wanted to achieve was to automate all that and they just get that via email on right. a daily basis Got so they just remove the pen and paper remove the, the pen and paper yeah. and for a owner or a manager he doesn't need to worry about that aspect and then uh real time alerts basically we don't just i mean the reason lots of the previous systems got failed was the moment someone opens the door they get an alert and oh. in a quick service restaurant that's quite common people do open doors right. and then they forget to close it yeah. so we implemented something smart where um they are out of that notification fatigue and they only get real alerts only when something was out of the danger, out of the range and right. then only and we are trying to augment ai to it basically yeah. to make it more predictive looking at the trends um we are trying to come up with something that can estimate the anomaly before time like uh, hey your freezer might go down right by looking at the trends of the temperatures so wow. that's how we are kind of trying to simplify like uh, literally that's as simple as that we are trying to put it to the restaurant operators wow that definitely sounds sounds like you know a huge time saver and a significant improvement in ensuring food safety and preventing costly equipment failures uh now building brand trust is you know crucial for long term success especially in competitive industries 
what have been some of the key moments or you know strategic partnerships that were instrumental in building trust and credibility for Stratify within the restaurant industry? Because I know you mentioned uh, that you know initially you just gave the product to them to try it out, uh, but did you also partner with some of the initial uh, clients? Yeah. So as uh, as you put it rightly, it's partnerships always. It's yeah. not you don't treat them as customers, initial right. customers, yeah. because um, yeah, starting a company is easy with your experience, and building a product might be easy with your experience, but um, uh, making someone to pay for it, monetizing <laughs> it, that's yeah. where the real challenge comes, right? Exactly. So uh, our early customers, um, luckily, were from brands such as Domino's and Wendy's. Got it. And they, in a way, helped us to validate the solution and um, uh, travel with us, in a way. So And um, they liked that so much because they were able to really detect problems mm -hmm. after using our solution. For example, one of the Wendy's franchisees, yeah. um, they kind of uh, changed their refrigeration and okay. there was a gas leak. Okay. And uh, he saw the temperature was jumping abruptly okay. so, through our system. Right. So that's how he could make out that, um, okay, so there's a bigger problem and right. they prevent Otherwise he couldn't have he wouldn't have known, known about it. Yeah. Hmm. So these kind of things, they add to the credibility and trust, right, basically. And um, uh, restaurant industry typically also works on word of mouth. Yeah. People talk about it and they say, hey, I have been using this. These guys are good. Right. And then that is one aspect of it. Once we got to a certain stage, we went to lots of these rest and trade shows, yeah. like um, Rest and Canada show, uh, RC show. We had a booth there and uh, Canadian Franchise Association National Convention. We participated there and um, in the US as well, we started attending some Domino's franchisee events. Right. Um, so, wow. yeah, that's how you directly have FaceTime with these people and uh, talk to them, whatever the value we can offer. I mean, um, whatever the great product you build, you need to really talk to people and show them that, hey, right. this is what you build. Right? right, because unless you don't come in the public eye, no one absolutely. will be aware that you exist and you're doing such fantastic work out there, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Now, those are some significant endorsements and you know that demonstrates the value that leading brands see in Stratify solutions. Uh, before we let you go, Madan, if there's any key piece of final advice that you have for our listeners, anything that you want them to remember about this entire discussion today, what would it be and why? Yeah. So if you want to make your refrigeration management simpler yeah. and automated, so try Stratify. That is one, one piece of advice to anyone in the restaurant industry. Right. And um, I told in, uh, this in my other podcast as well, for people who have like these entrepreneurial uh, bug, right, basically, right. Um, generally it will be either tech founder or non-tech founder. So people who can write code, all that, but they cannot sell. So people who can sell well, but cannot understand the technology. So always work on the other side. Uh, find That's someone who compliments you. Compliments you. Or if you yeah. cannot, uh, then at least you work on that and improve it yourself. That's what it is. No, because I see you're an engineer and you're doing great job marketing and, you know, doing that sales uh, kind of thingy. And that's commendable. Uh, thank you so much for your time here, Madan. Uh, lastly, before we let you go, if there's uh, in the next 10, 15 years, how would you see the future of Stratify in one liner? We'll become the ultimate AI-powered inventory safeguarding solution for different industries, maybe restaurants. We can even go into pharmacies, medical. Mm, so you do have plans to plans go outside the restaurant, restaurant sector. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's very exciting. Again, Madan, thank you so much for being here. It was an absolute pleasure talking to you. Pleasure. Thank you. All right, that was an insightful conversation with Madan Kanala, founder of Stratify, on the evolution of IoT in the restaurant industry, building a trusted tech brand and his entrepreneurial journey. Stratosphere is revolutionizing re restro operations with its AI-powered monitoring platform. We also want to highlight Stratosphere's recent expansion and the launch of their mobile-first dashboard. Thank you so much to all the listeners for tuning in to the Canadian SME Small Business Podcast. We really appreciate your continued support. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more expert insights and resources that can help your business thrive. Also, don't forget to visit our website, canadiansme.ca. And lastly, a very special thank you to our podcast partners, RBC, UPS, A1 Global College, and Google for their ongoing commitments to empowering SMEs in Canada. Until next time, keep innovating and striving for success, and we'll see you in the next episode. Kripa Anand, signing off. <laughs>